The first wave of the division had to deal with the absolute worst of the pandemic. Many of the first wave agents lost their lives trying to save what was left of Manhattan, while the remaining few turned rogue alongside Keener. Noble Squad, being part of the first wave, had to deal with the pandemic and everything that was thrown at them. Their story is quite tragic and it was not pretty. After I got activated, I got intel that a few of the first wave division agents had been working together in Lower Manhattan, but no one's heard from any of them for a while. They are some of the few we have actual IDs for. We need to track them down and see if they're still alive. And if they're not, we owe it to them to find out why. Noble Squad, like any division squad, had four members. Cecilia Ann, the leader of the squad, Tony Garcia, Akil Hoopster and Doc Sutton. Their story starts at the start of the crisis. The crisis has worsened to the point that people are doing pretty much anything for survival. A small group of rioters is harassing a man, Jay Huck, trying to get by. The situation worsened as the rioters tried to mug the guy, but Noble Squad got there just in time. you guys we're just looking out for ourselves oh, thank you thank you so much I thought I was dead I'm gonna go do a little recon down that way We're operating under Directive 51 and are fully authorized to put a bullet in your head if we feel the need. Go back to your homes. You don't want to be people we're forced to fire on. We've got reports of some of those escaped prisoners from Rikers. Let's go over there and intercept. The situation cooled down, however the report stated that a group of Rikers was causing trouble. A little bit ahead were in an alley near a car shop. Noble Squad seems to have been cornered, but Doc Sutton, the fort member, wasn't nearby. Fuck these guys up! Sadly, dog is too late. <laughs> they picked us clean <coughs> and didn't even have the decency to put a bullet in my head. <laughs> said it was a waste of ammo. I'll make them pay for this. They're all gonna die. <clears throat> They're headed north towards 41st. Talking about some kind of safe house. <laughs> Go get them, Doug. <coughs> oh. <coughs> While retreating, they were forcefully killed by Rikers. Celia and Tony were holding hands in the repair shop as they died, and while Tony died in the arms of Doug, he swore to get his revenge 
He moved north to 41st Street as Dog approached. He saw the group of Rikers they were talking about earlier. I don't know who those motherfuckers were, but they sure had some bum ass hardware. Fuck yeah! Look at this piece! It is sweet! Hey, you guys found anything? Yeah, we got a piece of ass for us to play with. She just walked right in and we nabbed her. Playing a place on the 41st. Yeah, alright. We're rolling that way now. Got ourselves some swag. This is where it gets more interesting. As Dog followed Rikers to their next location, we discovered who the captured piece of ass is. As Dog entered the apartment, things were about to go down. watch our backs. Part of me was hoping we could reach them. We could have really used their help. There's something about that girl, though. I'm gonna try and run her face through our database, see if I can get any hits. Dog entered the apartment and started wiping out the Rikers in the apartment to save none other than April Kelleher. Though her story didn't end in that apartment, sadly, dogs did. April covered his body in cloth. If Dog hadn't intervened, April probably wouldn't have made it through the night and with that we wouldn't have her story. This is the perfect tie-in to April's story. If you don't know April's story is a really expensive one and that's what we're focusing on next week. Stories like Noble Squad and April Kelleher really show us the tragedy, the emotion and the humanity that went down as society collapsed. This is what the story of the division should have been about. What did you think of the story of Noble Squad? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. April's story is an even more apprehensive, interesting and definitely longer one. As we'll go over it next time, I'm probably gonna cut it up in multiple parts as it's deep and intertwining story with loads of easter eggs and refers to other stories. For now, that's it. Leave a like and a prayer for Noble Squad of course. And with that, I'm leaving you. Peace. Out.